Hi, welcome to Moomoo Math. Today we're going to look at the properties of isosceles trapezoids. Let's first define what an isosceles trapezoid is. It is a quadrilateral, meaning it has four sides, and isosceles, a trapezoid, also has one pair of parallel sides. That's the first property we're looking at. So we have WX is parallel to ZY. So those are the two sides that are parallel and we signify that with these arrows. Also we have, since it's an isosceles trapezoid, we have one pair of congruent legs. So these two sides that are not parallel to each other are actually called legs and they are the same length. So they're congruent to each other. So these are our bases. The bases are the sides that are parallel and the legs are the non-parallel sides. Now one of the properties of an isosceles trapezoid is about the angle. So let's look at our base angles. We have two pairs of base angles. We have the ones down here at the bottom and we have the ones at the top. And these two angles that are run along the same base, those two W and X have the same measure and Z and Y have the same measure. So let's throw some angle measures up there. We know that a quadrilateral adds to 360 degrees. Let's say that our base angle is 110 degrees. Let's draw it where it's more appropriate. 110 degrees up here. And this one would be 110 degrees. Now, these adjacent sides are going to be um, supplementary. So if this one is 110, the angle below it has to add up to 180 or 180 degrees. So this one would have to be 70. So if this one's 110, this one would be 70 because these two are supplementary or add to 180. And this one would also be 70 degrees. So the two base pairs of base angles are congruent to each other and then the consecutive angles are supplementary. So, hope this video was helpful in learning about the properties of isosceles trapezoids.